Well, hello everybody and welcome to this week's segment of Why. This is where we take just a few minutes to answer some of the most common health-related questions that I see in my office every day. So the question today is, Dr. Harrison, why do I have a thyroid disorder? Or Dr. Harrison, I think I have a thyroid disorder. Or Dr. Harrison, I, I've been diagnosed with a thyroid issue, I'm given the medication, but I still don't feel right. So if you or anybody you know falls into any of these categories, th this would be an ideal video for you. So I've talked about the thyroid in the past. Uh, I've went into it in great detail in other videos. So this video I wanna dedicate mostly to lab testing because in any of those scenarios I mentioned, um, the lab testing is really where the keys are to finding out if you had. So in my office, we work with thyroid every day. Just, um, just this week, I had two pretty serious diagnoses of thyroid disorders that were missed and, and people were suffering. So in a nutshell, thyroid, if there is a thyroid symptom, you're, pro you're probably gonna notice weight gain, hair thinning, not patches of hair missing, but hair thinning, brittle nails, thinning nails, uh, fatigue, of course, you're going to a lot of fatigue with regards to um, to thyroid issues. Infertility is another one. Overall energy dropping. So it can be many of the many things causing uh, causing these symptoms. Not necessarily thyroid, but it's the first place to go, and it should be ruled out because thyroid uh, disorders and thyroid disease uh, make up, well, 20, 20 million Americans in, in, in the United States here deal with thyroid issues, and it's expected another 40%, uh, so another under 10, 10 million, are dealing with a thy thyroid issue, but they're not being diagnosed. So, um, what do we wanna do to test? Well, the problem is, with this, the thyroid issues is there's, uh, the conventional medical model tends to only test one to three markers. Three is the most I've ever seen. Uh, coming with our conventional medical testing. But in fact, and, and that's where the problem lies because it's not properly being diagnosed, but in fact there's actually 12, 12 or I, there might even be 13, I don't know. I have it below of all these lab tests for you, but 12 or 13 tests to know if it's truly a thyroid problem so you can find out uh, if it's something else. So it, it should be ruled out. Below uh, in the link here, I'm gonna have all the thyroid tests that I screen pretty well everybody with, or at least 90% of these tests below. Uh, if you are, and I have a link in there that you can actually order these tests directly uh, from my office and find out if there is a problem. So the link for ordering the test is below, as well as a list of all the indicators, all the markers. So if you are in the United States, the majority of the United States, I can order those tests. If you are up in Canada or other places, um, we, you wouldn't be able, that link wouldn't work for you, but you can take the list of markers and bring it to your primary. Um, hopefully this was helpful for you. Uh, again, thyroid disease, I see it all the time. And if you catch it early enough, you can correct it and, uh, and, and actually, the test won't only tell you if there's a thyroid problem, but if it's interpreted properly, it'll tell you where the thyroid problem lies because the thyroid is a system. There's three different organ systems involved in thyroid health. And again, follow, look at one of my other videos. I'll try to put a link below so you can see those other videos to understand the thyroid. So, in a nutshell, there is something you can do with your thyroid. You don't have to live with it, uh, with it being a problem. And if you have symptoms and you're on medication, there still is hope. So the first place is testing. So look below. And if you know of anybody struggling with this, or by all means, send them the video. They deserve to have this information and find out the real problem of their thyroid condition or find out if they have a thyroid problem. So with that being said, I'm Dr. Glenn Harrison. I look forward to talking to you next week where we're gonna answer uh, the why to other health-related questions. Have a great day.